High Yield Immunology and Serology Review, Part 3 by Happy RMT. Number 1. Which of the following is a unique characteristic of adaptive immunity? A. Ability to remember a prior exposure to a pathogen. B. A similar response to all pathogens encountered. C. Ability to fight infection. D. Process of phagocytosis to destroy a pathogen. Answer is A. Ability to remember a prior exposure to a pathogen. Number 2. A cell flow cytometry pattern belonging to a 3-year-old patient showed the following. Normal CD4 T cell count, normal CD19 B cell count, and low CD8 T cell count. Which type of immunity would be affected? A. Elimination of virally infected cells. B. Downregulation of the immune response. C. Production of antibody. D. Formation of plasma cells. Answer is A. Elimination of virally infected cells. Number 3. Discovery of genetic principles underlying the generation of antibodies with different specificities. A. Emil von Behring. B. Susumoto Negawa. C. Edward Jenner. D. Eli Mechnikov. Answer is B. Susumoto Negawa. Number 4. Which antibody best protects mucosal surfaces? A I G G B I G M C I G A D I G D. Answer is C I G A. Number five. Which of the following is characteristic of variable domains of immunoglobulins? A. They represent the complement binding site. B. They are at the carboxy terminal ends of the molecules. C. They are found only on H chains. D. They occur on both H and L chains. Answer is D. They occur on both H and L chains. Number 6. The subclasses of IgG differ mainly in A. Type of light chain B. Arrangement of disulfide bonds C. Ability to act as opsonin D. Molecular weight Answer is B. Arrangement of disulfide bonds Number 7. Which antibody is best at agglutination and complement fixation? A I G G B I G M C I G D D I G E. Answer is B I G M. Number eight. Papain digestion of an I G G molecule results in which of the following? A two Fab prime and one F C prime fragments. B Fab prime two and one F C prime fragments. C. 2 Fab and 2 FC fragments. D. 2 Fab and 1 FC fragments. Answer is D. 2 Fab and 1 FC fragments. Number 9. All of the following are true of IgE except A. Heat stable. B. Attaches to tissue mast cells. C. Found in the serum of allergic persons. D. Fail to fix complement. Answer is A. Heat stable. Number 10. It is considered the gold standard in testing for contact dermatitis. A. Tuberculin test. B. Patch test. C. Rist. D. Rast. Answer is B. Patch test. Number 11. Which technique involves probe amplification rather than target amplification? A. Transcription mediated amplification. B. Ligase chain reaction. C. Southern blot. D. PCR. Answer is B. Ligase chain reaction. Number 12. Forward angle light scatter is an indicator of cell. A. Size. B. Number. C. Granularity. D. Density. Answer is A. Size. Scattered light in a forward direction is a measure of cell size, whereas the side scatter determines a cell's internal complexity or granularity. Number 13. Which best characterizes the secondary response? A. The lag phase is the same as in the primary response. B. Equal amounts of IgM and IgG are produced. C. There is an increase in IgM only. D. There is a large increase in IgG but not IgM. Answer is D. There is a large increase in IgG but not IgM. Number 14. Which would be most effective in measuring an individual complement component? 
A radial immunodiffusion, BAH50 assay, C lytic assay with liposome, D CH50 assay. Answer is A radial immunodiffusion. The methods most frequently used to measure individual components include radial immunodiffusion or RID and nephelometry. Number 15. Anticoagulant for the direct antiglobulin test or DAT is A. EDTA, B. Citrate, C. Oxalate, D. Heparin. Answer is A. EDTA. EDTA is used to avoid the in vitro complement attachment associated with refrigerated clotted specimens. Good job for finishing! See you on the next review!